Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the all new 2024 BMW X2. This is the xDrive 28i. It's finished off in Cape York green metallic and the MSRP is just over $50,000. Now we have the driver assistance pro package as well as the premium package for this specific model. So that adds about $6,000 to this MSRP. We'll start off with what this is powered by. Underneath the hood is the two liter inline four cylinder turbo. It's paired to a seven speed automatic transmission and it pumps out 241 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque. Sent through that xDrive all wheel drive system. This weighs in right around 3,800 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in 6.2 seconds. And as far as fuel economy goes, you're looking right around 24 miles per gallon in the city and 33 out on the highway. Now, as we work our way to the exterior styling, I think this has a fantastic look. This is also the smallest BMW SUV that is available. And up front with the kidney grill, I think it's proportioned very nicely. It's finished off in brushed aluminum for this model. There's a forward sensor for the adaptive cruise, camera system as well, parking sensors, plenty of cutouts to provide cooling. There's also more inlets on both sides as well as the gloss black trim accents. And I like that integration with the separation of the bodywork and the grill running straight through it. Now this also has LED headlights, DRLs and turn signals, and then some really nice lines that flow down the hood. Now as we work our way to the side, has a very nice set of wheels with the two-tone and multi-spoke design to them. The, one of those packages also provides us with the power folding side mirrors, which do have the camera and turn signal along with the two-tone design. Full moonroof is also on this model. And then all the window trim is blacked out too. We have the flush door handle design. And then the plastic side skirts have a little bit of a pattern in them. They protrude outward slightly. And the X2 is more on that coupe-like design for the SUV lineup. If you want more of a traditional SUV, you can go with the X, uh, X1, but the X2 will have this steeply raked rear glass. And it leads all the way to the gloss black spoiler that has a camera, nice set of LED taillights. There's parking sensors in the lower section, and then the separation between the bodywork as well as the plastic that runs right through it. Now this also has the remote start, so you can use that when needed. You can also use the key fob or just push the top of the BMW badge. That is how you can open up this power lift gate. Now, even with that coupe-like design, you do lose a little bit of height for your rear cargo storage. However, you still have plenty of space. There's a bin on one side, storage net on the other, and then you even have a lot more under the floor. You could probably remove the spare there if you needed a little bit more space. And then you can fold the back seats down too to give yourself that much more room. So if you're not really looking to put in a lot of items in your vehicle and you like the looks of this, it's a great option to go with. And then as we work our way to the back, the door panel has a nice design to it. This has the Harman Kardon sound system, all of the leather, plenty of storage in the lower section, and a really cool wraparound design for this grab handle, as well as the hollow design for that release handle. And this is a pretty low vehicle. My neck is above the roof height there. So at five foot 10, it's pretty short, but when you hop in, you wouldn't really think that. I have a good bit of space for this smaller size vehicle. There's storage pockets, climates, and auxiliaries, a little bit of storage down below. And I have about an inch or so of headroom, so I don't have to duck or anything. This is what the visibility is like from the back seats here. It's not really claustrophobic feeling or anything. It is a smaller vehicle, but that's what you would expect. And then up front, the door panel is just like the rear. We have the mirror adjustments, window controls, lift gate release, and then even memory seating adjustments. And the automatic front seats have a similar design as the rear. It's also pretty low, so this is easy to get into. Let's start it up now. Solid leather for the steering wheel, cruise control settings, there's volume as well as shortcuts to your music, Bluetooth and voice commands. And then you can use a combination of these two to go through the digital gauge cluster. So let's pull up the content where you can scroll through all this information just depending on what you would like to see. And you can even change the layout too. It's not too different per these different settings here, but if you wanna do that, you can. And then there's also three different settings for the head up display, just depending on the info that you would like to see. Now on the left side, there's some headlight adjustments. This model has the interior ambient lighting package as well. So hopefully you can see some of those lit up at the moment. 
There's an air vent, brushed aluminum on that side. And then for the all new curved screen, it has been shrunken for this interior. I think it gives it a great look. For the home screen, you can scroll through all this information with the split design to it. And then you can also pull up a ton of apps, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You can get into your climate adjustments, driver settings, interior lighting. There is a lot that you can scroll through. Now there's no buttons down below. A lot of the BMWs have the rotary dial with the shortcuts. This is all strictly just touch screen. There's also a shortcut to your climates so you can turn those on as well. And with those on, it gives you access to your heated seats as well as the heated steering wheel. And you do have your temperature adjustments on both sides as well. And then there's some shortcuts on this left side for your nav, phone, and media too. Now there's one air vent underneath that. The trim accent above that goes all the way to the passenger side where there's two air vents. Wireless charging is right in the middle. There's cup holders and auxiliaries, and then a lot of storage underneath the center console area. Now this is the shifter, push it forwards. That will pull up that camera system where you can go through a lot of different views, including the 3D one. So that way you can see around the entire vehicle, just depending on what you need to see, of course. There's drive, there's also a low range gear, and then by pushing on the e-brake, that is for park. Now there's a shortcut to the parking system, as well as your hazards, power and volume, and tuning for the audio. And then there's also three different modes you can go into. It's just going to change not only the lighting, but the color for the gauge cluster too. So just depending on your mood for the day, and then behind that, we have shortcuts for your driver assistance, as well as your drivetrain and chassis. Auto hold is behind that. And then this is how you open up the center armrest, where you have a little bit of space. And then you have more space in the glove box there. Now we have the moonroof adjustments up top, along with dome lights. And then this is a look at visibility. That pillar is pretty bulky, but like I've mentioned, you can easily see around it. And then you have pretty good visibility over the left shoulder as well. And with it in that low range setting from second gear, here we go. It is not slow by any means. I am thoroughly impressed. I was extremely impressed with the M version in the X1. And so if, if you're not looking again for that next level, I don't see any issues with the power in this, but this is what it's like to be behind the wheel for the all new BMW X2. Definitely very nice for the price point. You are getting a small SUV, but you're also getting a luxury brand, something that is going to be very nice to drive. If you're looking for a vehicle like this, we do have some nice materials. I believe there's some other options that you can go with. This one only has two packages on it for the MSRP of right around $50,000. So I believe you could spec this with some other options, just depending on what suits your budget and what you're looking for. If you are doing a lot of city driving perhaps and you just don't want a large SUV but you still want something that can be practical, groceries, other items, things like that, nothing too big, I think this is a good option. Turning radius is pretty tight here so it's going to be very maneuverable in parking lot situations. And then not even a quarter throttle or back up to speed. But I love how quiet it is, super comfortable, would make for a great daily driver. We have a lot of tech features that make this very nice so that you can drive it every day and be accommodative with everything that is available. Seats are also in a good position too. I really don't have any complaints with this car. Just aside from the size factor, it's too small for my personal taste, but that's going to be different for everyone. And for its size, I am impressed with not only the room on the inside, but just how it drives and handles in general. That is going to wrap it up though for the all new 2024 BMW X2. Again, check out my X1 M35i review if you wanna see basically this same vehicle with the bigger engine and just how that drives and the performance that that has. But again, huge shout out to Hendrick BMW Northlake for providing this for me today. Check out their website, give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.